Hello and welcome to another installment of Comparative Reasoning. I'm your host, Sergio Kennedy, and I, I got a question, simple question. How can one be pro-life as well as pro-gun? Not about pro-Second Amendment, that's not a part of this, but pro-gun, pro-gun ownership. I mean, if you're pro-life, that means you want to make sure life goes on. Don't you? Or are you saying you're pro birth, but not pro life? Because life comes after you're born. You're born and your dying process begins immediately. And some people could say, well, the gun speeds that up and they can get a laugh out of it. But when you own a gun, the idea is to take a life. It's premeditated by nature, by default. You have already planned to take a life. And you can say it's self-defense, but you can't wait to use it in self-defense. That's the difference. It's people like me. I don't own a gun. I don't have a gun. I don't. They're scary. They might go off might kill my kid my woman my me what if it goes off some random way and kills my neighbor you know or just get injured and now you got to go to the hospital knowing that you got an injury from a gun that you own so yeah i don't i don't i don't have a gun i don't own a gun don't want one they scared they scare me they really do i just don't see how people can be pro-life and pro-gun at the same time because these people that are pro-life and have guns tend to shoot the one that's closest to them. Their son, their daughter, their neighbor, themselves, their kid, whether it's boy, girl, transgender. They can't wait for that person to break into their home, whether it's from a car that was totaled. They're heavily concussed and they come to you at two or three o'clock in the morning asking for help. When they turn their back, you shoot them in the back of the head with a shotgun. True story that people forgot. And then say you were standing your ground, defending your homes. You can't wait. You know, like the person that shoots and kills somebody at a party in the other yard saying that you're standing your ground. Those police officers that shoot some unarmed person running from them or following their orders. Even if it's in a hotel where they're playing Simon Says with a gun pointed to their head. And kill them when they can't do it right. So, how do you reconcile that cognitive dissonance? Being pro-life, pro-gun. Hit me up. Cedric Kennedy, Comparative Reasoning. Thank you for listening.